hi friends welcome to my channel in today's video i'm gonna talk about how to implement scd to slowly change the dimension by using merge statement in sql server so please try to watch all my previous videos like sql server development performance tuning power bi and dax and also ssis so that you'll get more understanding in different technologies now let's go to the sql server management studio there we can understand today's demo So for timing already i have written the query so i'm gonna explain each and every step what i have done here so before getting the details of the query so let me explain what are the tables i'm gonna take it for today's demo purpose so here i'm taking two tables one is the source table in the source table these are the columns id employee name employee address location and salary so this is the source table and this is the destination table in the destination table along with these columns i'm going to add start date end date and what is the active indicator so when it is going to inserted when it is going to updated so what kind of action it means that when the whether the record is going to inserted or updated or deleted so that kind of information we are going to store into the destination table okay now i'll try to create table one by one first i am trying to execute the source table just click on execute so table created successfully now i am trying to insert the execute the destination table so both tables are created successfully now i'll try to fire a select statement and we'll see whether it has been created successfully or not just click on execute so now you can see that both tables are created now I am going to insert three rows of data into the source table. Okay, so this is the script I am going to insert into the source table. So just execute it. So three rows are affected. Now I will try to verify whether data inserted or not. Just execute both the tables. So now you can see that so in the source table we have three rows, but destination table so far we did not insert any rows. Okay, we will try to run that. So for inserting the source data into the destination table and also along with that so we are going to insert what is the start date, what is the end date, so what kind of indicator, so when it is going to insert, when it is going to update, so what action. So we are going to store all this information also along with the source data. So along with this information also we are storing this additional information because we are maintaining the slowly changing dimension type 2. Okay so for that so i have written the merge statement here so if if you see here so merge into destination table by using source and based on this condition okay based on this condition if if this condition not satisfied then it is going to insert so what are the condition we have specified if it is not matched by the target then it is going to insert okay while inserting so i am taking the id employee name employee address location salary from the source table along with that so i am going to specify the additional column information by hard coding here because the start date end date okay start date is a today's date end date is this one and what is the active indicator is y so and also when it is going to insert it. so today's date only so end date we don't know right so that is the sorry not end date it's updated date so that is the reason i have just kept as a null and also what kind of action because it's insert operation so that is the reason i'm hard coded as a insert only okay so for inserting okay first we'll try to see that so i'm going to execute it so just click on execute now it has been successfully inserted we'll try to see just click execute so now we can see that so we got three rows okay so along with employee id employee name address location salary so we have start date so when i'll try to so you can see clearly so when it has been started start date nothing but when it is a uh, when it's going to act so end date so active indicator y y y so when it is going to insert record so updated date 
so action insert whether this is operation insert or update so even if you run if you run this query multiple times also it's not going to insert okay because there are no records in the source table if any other new records are there definitely it will exhibit but so what are the records are there in the source table already it's available in the destination table so that is the reason it's not going to insert any rows even if you exhibit multiple times also now i'll try to verify whether it is inserting or not just execute it now you can see only three rows only okay so now this time we'll try to do some update so so we'll try to do some updates for the employee is 102 first i will do one change so for 102 i'm changing the employee name employee address okay just click on execute one row affected now i'll try to see the data comparing to the source and destination so now you can see the for 102 so employee name is ram krishna and address is bangalore but here so this record not yet changed right so by executing this query it will change automatically just execute it one row affected okay now i'll try to verify just click on execute now you can see that in the source table we have three rows but in destination table we have four rows because so in employee id 102 the name as well address has been changed so here why we are maintaining four rows because in a uh, technically data warehouse we are doing the soft delete okay so this record is inactive because we have made it as a active indicator as n it's not y because it technically we can call it as a it's a soft delete because re record already exists but but it is acted as a so inactive record even you can understand when it is updated okay so when it's got up, up, updated so this is the latest record okay this is the latest record so because it's active indicator as well and update data is null and also we can see that when it has been ended so what is the end date so previous date of the today's date so today's is 17 so what is the previous date 16th so likewise we can implement the slow changing dimension so now i'll try to insert one more record so we'll see even if i execute again also it's not going to affect because we done only one change only so even if if I execute multiple times also there's no change at all now we'll try to see here three rows here four rows only okay so now i'll try to insert one more record so we'll try to see whether it's working properly or not one zero four Rubbing. okay chennai okay so let's execute it so one row affected now we'll try to check before run the query so in source table we have four one zero four we have inserted so far but here we did not insert it okay so we'll try to run this query Just executed. Now we'll try to run this. So now we can see that after executing that query insert statement, we got the 104 record also. Okay, it's insert, but earlier one is update, right? So this is record is soft deleted, and uh, so based on that place, we have another record, right? Update and also we can do multiple updates also for example even you can do 104 101 i'll change the names or address whatever it is 101 i'll change the address so just execute it 
Okay, set. I forgot that. It's fine. Okay. AP. Just execute it. Now we have updated two records, right? So we'll see whether it is affected or not. See, the in source table, those two records are updated, but still not updated in the destination table, right? So one zero four, not yet update, right? We'll see. Execute one more time. Two rows affected. Even if you execute multiple times also, it will execute only one time only. So now I'll try to verify whether the data is setting properly or not. We'll see that. So now you can see that C101 is affected and 104 right 104 so those two records are soft deleted so means so it's updated so their employee address or location any of the one of the column is getting updated so we made it as a soft delete and we added what is the update time and also changing the end date okay so likewise we can implement the slowly changing the dimension type 2 by using sql query also so i hope you like this uh, demo so if you have any questions or queries you can send me an email or drop your comments in the comment section so that i'll try to reply as soon as possible so thank you so much stay tuned for our videos